my hands. Hola y bienvenidos a mi canal. I just decided to pick up the camera and start filming. Uh, tengo dos semanas más in La Ciudad de México and I don't really know what I'm going to get up to. I know I want to do a couple of the things that I liked doing over the past couple of months, just reminiscing a bit hitting up some spots that I haven't hit yet, kind of trying to squeeze them in a little bit. And then la semana próxima is Semana Santa. So there's gonna be some stuff that I'm doing with the hostel and just around the city. I also am going to dive a little bit into what it is that I've been doing here, where it is I've been living, all of that stuff. I didn't, I haven't explained that yet, just for like safety reasons, but I finally get to kind of show you all what I've been up to, where I've been living, all of that stuff. And oh my gosh, if you guys can see the, I think they're called jacaranda, the jacaranda trees are in bloom so the city is so gorgeous honestly the weather my entire time here has been incredible i think it's only rained like maybe once or twice in these past three months but yeah i'm just gonna take you all along for these next two weeks with me today voy al museo de museo nacional de arte and i think i'm just gonna chill pretty much most of today i was booking a bunch of different things for my next stop just accommodations and visas and all that stuff so that took up half of my day but i decided i'm just gonna go to a museo maybe dibujar a little bit and just have a chill day so yeah let's get this vlog started panda kind of mood i watched the first one with one of my roommates the other day and so after i went to the museum i was like let me see where kung fu panda 4 is playing and there's a really bougie mall um literally like a three minute walk from me Kung Fu Panda was such a cute movie. I loved it. I do love going to movie theater by myself. I'm not gonna lie. For movies like that, like animated movies, stuff like that, I don't mind going alone. Um, even when we were watching the first one, I was like, it's got like the right amount of like lessons and comedy and like cute little, it was just a, it was a great movie and I feel like the quality has not faded um, compared to a lot of movies that get to like the fourth or fifth movie and it's like, okay, cut it. <laughs> You're done. No more, please spare us. I'm hoping to go to another movie theater called Cineteca before I leave as well. It's one of my favorite movie theaters here in this area. When you think of Coyoacan, just think of Frida Kahlo Museum. I'm like maybe three or four blocks away from that. Maybe a little bit further, but like within a 10 to 15 minute walk. I will talk a little bit more about Coyoacan and this hostel and everything as the vlog goes on, but for now, I'm going to bed. <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna take you all through a hair journey. I did my little slick back bun. Honestly, the last clips that y'all saw, I've had the bun in for way too long, like two weeks. And she's starting to look crusty and I'm leaving in a week to somewhere really, really hot. I'm not gonna say where yet, but it's hot. I, like I'm gonna be a, a crab in a crab boil, okay? So I need box braids. I need a meat. I need them tiny, I need them long. And if you watched my what's in my bag for a year, I brought breathing hair. So yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna be doing the next probably full day. But she is washed, I think I'm gonna blow dry her and then we're gonna get into it. So sorry for, I don't know, not having a variety of location. Date was good. I think, I don't know. I felt more friendship vibes with him. The date was like seven hours long. So conversationally, there were no issues in terms of like having something to say. Like, I feel like we were bouncing off of each other really well. Um, On the first part of the date, we were talking about like, people we've talked to, experiences that we've had dating, you know, other various people. And he was giving me a story time about a girl that he talked to, but he just started going really in detail about it. And then somehow we're in his photo album looking at pictures of this girl. <laughs> and I'm just like, is this? <laughs> Is this the tactic? Like, is this your flirting technique? <laughs> Cause like, I'm turned off. Um, but I really wanted to see it through. Really, really nice guy, really cool guy, great conversation. Um, but I just felt like there were moments where I was like, hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if I would go out with him again. Y'all, I only have a week left. So, and I do have another date tomorrow with a different person. <laughs> I hope none of them see this. <laughs> Not that it matters, but anyway. I am just going to get ready for bed. And yeah, see you all tomorrow.
notas de la luna, música inunden los oídos de los cometas y en vertiginosa danza las estrellas caigan hasta el fondo del mar y de la luz una estrella nueva. Vuelve esta noche que he robado un poco de sol en la punta de una cera que exprime un poco del jugo del centro de mi corazón humano para que te emborraches de mí por favor. this hostel other than just the bathroom. <laughs> so we are in El Jardín, the garden, and yeah, I wanted to just talk to you all about what it is that I've been doing in Mexico City. Just kind of getting a little bit more into the logistics of my three months here. So I have been living in a hostel organization space. The hostel is called Warm Heart, and the organization is called Nima Mix. So basically, I found this organization on a website called Workaway. It's an Airbnb-esque database where hosts and travelers can find each other and exchange a place to stay for a good or a service. So what I've been doing for Milamex and for um, Warm Heart is just helping with their social media, helping filming onboarding videos um, for their volunteer organization. The minimum amount of time you can stay at this hostel is three weeks and the maximum is about three months. And basically when I first got here, there were so many different people living here. People from all over Latin America, people from South Korea, people from South Africa, just so many different types of people from all over the world. So they provided us a place to stay, so I've been living here for free. They provided lunch Monday through Thursday, a family dinner on Friday nights. So yeah, one person was assigned lunch each day, so I was able to eat cuisine from like all over the world honestly because different people wanted to represent their culture and cook a meal based off of you know something that they're used to eating back in their home country so I was really blessed to be able to eat a lot of different really cool foods um, I know some people <laughs> in the comments are just maybe thinking it in their head like oh why doesn't she show going out and eating why doesn't she show the food and all that stuff a lot of the traditional Mexican food that I have eaten has been cooked by my roommates. And one thing that I was really careful about living here was not just like having my camera out all the time, having it in people's faces. Like obviously, and I asked them, they were fine for the most part with certain clips and things, but I don't know. I just wanted to kind of experience things in the moment and not be thinking about like, oh, I should pull my camera out for this and that or whatever. But I did take some pictures of some of the food that I ate. A lot of times there was always something going on just because normally there was about like seven to maybe 11 people at the house at any given time. So I was able to run around the city with some of my roommates, watch movies, do just like, I don't know, we just did a bunch of things together. I got a tattoo by one of my roommates. So yeah, it was just a really fun time. On top of that, so the organization um, Milamex, it's 
an event and community space that's downstairs underneath the hostel and they they serve the community in, in CDMX in Mexico. Um, they do wellness retreats. They do, and I should say as well, it's a it's a Christian based organization. So they do wellness retreats. They do worship nights. They host Bible studies there. Um, I know this week, and I mentioned earlier in my vlog, it's Semana Santa, and today we're prepping for a really big dinner for tomorrow for Good Friday. And there's going to be people from the community that have registered to come and. Um, um, just eat and fellowship and break bread and just have a good time. So I'm really excited because we get to make some traditional food. There's going to be a ceremony involved with it and they do podcasting. They have an online blog where they talk about just different ways that you can experience holistic wellness through the organization or independently. I know I'm forgetting a lot of different things. I'll try to put a description on the screen and put a link in the bio in case you want to learn more about Milamex or warm hearts. I'm serving the community. It has, I feel like, filled and given me so much purpose. So as I'm giving, I feel like I've been receiving so much as well. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so happy that I chose this path for my first stint, uh, my first experience abroad, living abroad. Lovely. I've had an incredible three months. I can't believe I'm leaving in a couple of days, but I've still got a couple of days left, so there's still some more of the vlog to be seen. But yeah, I have honestly had the best time just like wrapping things up and yeah, just spending my last month here. So that's all I wanted to share about where I'm staying. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave them in the comments. Like I said, I'll put their information in the description box so you can check them out. But other than that, let's get on to the rest of my week.